top 10 top-notch careers that will always make you money. Wouldn't it be nice if every degree gave you high-income skills you could apply to the marketplace? Guess what? They freaking don't. One of the biggest struggles new graduates have is drawing a line between what they know and what employers want. Your degree gave you a set of skills, but it's only a small part of who you actually are and what you can give the world. You have a whole bucket of skills you've acquired from a bunch of different experiences, and the more you can put in there, the more in demand you will be. LinkedIn publishes a yearly list of in-demand skills. Ironically, your degree might have given you soft skills, but many degrees don't give you any hard skills. That's no problem, though, because you can learn them online and often for free. Here are the top 10 top-notch careers that will always make you money. Number 1. User Experience or UX User experience is a rapidly growing field and it's perfect for people with advanced degrees. It requires a mixture of qualitative and quantitative research. This means that most degree holders have some point of entry, but it's an especially great choice for grads with social science and humanities degrees. Hold your breath because UX designers make an average of $98,816 in the U.S. UX managers make $125,712, while UX directors make $166,940. Who said you weren't going to be able to use that anthropology degree? UX is the perfect place for it. Number 2. AWS Cloud Architecture What is Amazon? You might say a bookstore and you'd be sort of right. You might even say an online marketplace, and you'd be partially right too. But did you know that one of Amazon's most profitable branches has nothing to do with books or products? It's the cloud. Amazon Web Services, or AWS, brought in 10 to 12% of Amazon's revenue last month, but that number is growing year over year, and businesses are paying big bucks for AWS certified developers and architects. In fact, an AWS certified developer makes an average of $122,000 a year, while an AWS architect commands an impressive $165,748 yearly. Number 3. SEO When you type something into a search engine, which you might have done before you landed here, the search engine, let's say Google, makes some complex decisions about which pages of the millions that might fit it's going to show you. And there are a lot of strategies to make websites better so that Google moves them up the list. We call this search engine optimization, aka SEO. This page was high enough in Google for you to click on it. If it was on page 57 of your search results, you never would have seen it. SEO is in high demand. You know why? Because companies want to bring in organic views to their websites and products. Organic views are super valuable since the alternative requires bringing in traffic through social media posting or advertising. But organic traffic is different. It's made up of people who are driven to find the answer to the questions they're asking. ZipRecruiter puts the average salary of an SEO consultant at $69,499, while a well-rated SEO consultant on Upwork can make anywhere from $60 to $250 an hour. Not bad for a skill you can teach yourself. Number four, content marketing. If you're creative and love to write and or edit, content marketing might be another skill for you. Unlike copywriting, content writing isn't strictly designed to sell. Copywriting is a type of content. But content is a much bigger bucket. When a company writes a blog post, its goal might not be immediately to sell. Get it now for a limited time. In fact, its goal might be to educate, create brand awareness, inspire, tell stories, or any number of things. It's amazing how many people are hiring writers. Company leaders are hiring ghost writers to write their Twitter, LinkedIn, or blog posts. Heck, they're even hiring people to write books for them. And companies of all kinds are using that skill we talked about above, SEO, and they need writers to create awesome copy. AI just hasn't gotten there yet. According to ZipRecruiter, content managers make an average salary of $63,000 a year. Number 5. Copywriting Are you a writer at heart? Have you always imagined living in a Starbucks, writing for a living? Now imagine that life, but with a solid income. Copywriting is the skill of using words to sell things, and it's valuable. It's one of those skills that a lot of people think they have, but few actually do. It's hard to write bulletproof prose that perfectly captures your ideal customer, stopping them in their tracks and helping them overcome objections to buy something. 
and that's why companies pay. The average copywriter salary on ZipRecruiter is $59,084 a year. But this is another one of those skills that will command you top dollar if you're the best. Great copywriters are in high demand and charge a lot. The average copywriter salary on Upwork is around $100 an hour. If you want a taste of amazing copywriting, drop by Laura Belgray's blog, Talking Shrimp. She's one of the best copywriters around, and a read of her homepage will tell you why. I also love Eddie Schleiner's blog, Very Good Copy. Enjoying the video? Please be sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Number six, video editing. I freaking love video editing, weird as that may sound. I get totally lost in creating something. Although a video editor's salary on ZipRecruiter isn't huge, $47,000 yearly, talented video editors on Upwork can make $40 to $150 hourly. This is good news for gifted video editors who want to work freelance, especially if you've got chops and the ability to market yourself. With phones now capable of making ridiculously high-quality videos, that means it's not hard to become great at video editing. You can take your phone out today and start playing around. There are a few free video editing programs. I've used Filmmaker Pro. Number seven, blockchain. Blockchain is a way of storing valuable information across a system in which each computer stores a record. In non-computer speak, it's typically that information is shared and duplicated across a system, making it harder to compromise versus the model of storing information on a server that each computer accesses. Each computer has a record of any transactions, which makes it way safer than a centralized server. Get it? As I write this, crypto has done a bit of a crash. But let's be honest, the technology underlying cryptocurrencies and Web3 is not going away. It will be a part of our lives, and if you're an early adopter, the skill set can pay off. Number 8. Sales Selling has been around for thousands of years. Unlike most of the other things on this list, it's not fancy or sexy. And it's not tech, but sales isn't going anywhere. Companies need to sell things. Sales is changing, though. Like everything else, it's been upended by tech. From fancy AI customer databases to email lead generation software, sales will keep evolving. But at the base of sales is a relationship. As the famous saying goes, people do business with who they know, like, and trust. As far as the money goes, sales is a tough salary to pin down. After all, that pushy guy at the cell phone booth in the mall is a salesperson, but might not make that much. But top salespeople can make multiple six figures a year. Actually, potentially more than any other job on this list. Number nine, social media marketing. Social media marketing is a BFD, a big freaking deal. And to be honest, it's not even fair to lump all the social platforms under one heading. Smart brands and companies know that each social media platform requires its own expertise. But for the purpose of this list, we're sticking them together. Digital marketing used to be the job companies gave to the intern. Post this on Twitter for us. But no longer. Companies are throwing big budgets at digital marketing, recognizing that it has the potential to overtake traditional marketing. Digital is now around 60% of all ad spends. Number 10. Coding. It's not surprising that coding is still a valuable skill, and it's also something you can learn yourself. Developers are in high demand as we transition to a tech economy. And contrary to popular belief, you don't have to have a computer science degree to be a developer. Anyone can learn how to code. We talked about data science above, and yes, there's some crossover here. Python and R are definitely coding languages. If you feel like you're stuck in your career, especially if you have a degree that feels useless, why not learn one of these in-demand skills and level up? They'll help you define the value you offer in the marketplace and get paid more. Good luck. Let us know in the comments what career should have made this list. Well, this is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.